I don't know how many times I've been on YouTube, I've been on Reddit, I've been on the internet just looking for the best settings for the Intel Arc GPU so I could have a good, decent stream at 6,000 kilobytes on Twitch, 8,000 kilobytes on Kick. 12,000 kilobytes on YouTube using AV1. Um, but I think I found the best settings. Stick around, don't miss it, because uh, this might be just for you. So this is what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be showing you a comparison of 6,000 kilobits per second. That is the max for Twitch with one keyframe, one B frame, two keyframes, two B frames, three keyframes, and three B frames. I'm also going to be doing a comparison on AV1 at 12,000 kilobits per second if you stream over on YouTube. And it's going to be the same, 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3 and 3. If you stream on kick, you can go up to 8,000 kilobits per second. So keep that in mind. Um, let's dive into it. What you want to do is get into your OBS, go to File and Settings. Make sure that when you're streaming on Twitch, you can only go up to 6,000 kilobits per second. If you're on YouTube, you can go up to 50,000, quite a bit higher. Um, the best settings that I have found is three keyframes and three B frames for the settings with the slowest TU1 for best quality, main profile as high, and let's check out the comparisons. So from watching the visuals with the one keyframe, one B frame, two and two, three and three, to me, the three and three has less artifacting. It's a little more smoother, a little more clarity in the detail if my eyes are deceiving me i want y'all to tell me put it put it down in the comments because i want the best of the best just as well as y'all let's check out the av1 at 12,000. so with av1 it's a little more difficult to tell which one's better but it is a lot higher bit rate when it's encoding and decoding. To me, again, the 3 and 3 looks more smooth, more clarity, less artifacting. But AV1 is a very good encoder, especially if you're streaming on YouTube. I don't know what your thoughts are. But I want to know down in the comments what settings you use if you're running an Intel Arc GPU for streaming or for video or content creation or any kind of recording. I want to know if the 1 and 1 was better than the 3 and 3 or the 2 and 2 at the different kilobytes per second for 1080p 60 frames. Um, I found watching my streams and going back and watching my streams running the three keyframes and the three B frames with the high preset was the best quality. If you've tried something different than what I've tried and what I've showed you, please let me know down below so I can give those settings a try too. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, liking the video, leave a comment down below because that does help the channel and please share it. So other people that are in this same boat with the Arc Intel GPU can have some kind of a guide on where to go. One more thing, if you want to come check me out live, I am always live almost every evening over on Twitch and Kick. So if you want to come drop me a follow and show your boy some love, come on through. Anyway, y'all keep it real and remember, always love yourself. Peace.